Hi Taurus, welcome to your month ahead taroscope for February 2019 with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share and hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, thank you so much for all of your support. It truly means the world. Uh, if you would like to book a personal tarot reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And before we start, as always, I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all four of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So let's have a look at what your month ahead has to, oh okay, so one card jumped out, your actions and your interactions with the world at large this month Taurus, you got the star card. This is basically saying that you are going to go for it. You are going for gold, you are going for broke, whatever phrase you wanna to use to talk about. The star card is always about Aquarius, right? So it talks about what is broad reaching, what is out in the future. The fact that this falls in your actions and your interactions tells me two things. One, in terms of your uh, personal development, like the steps that you're making forward, this feels to me like you are starting to build a tribe around yourself. If you haven't met any of these people yet, this month you will definitely start to notice that the right people are coming. It's almost like you're building a team, right? Taurus, you are a builder. That is what you do. You build things. You make uh, foundations to build strong things on top of. This is the month where you will start to see and feel that the right people are making themselves known in your lifescape. I'm really, really excited about this. Also, uh, it also tells me that this is about you building something for your future. Uh, you are really focused on what is next. Where do I go from here? And the thing about the star card representing an Aquarius, it's always about the tribe. It's about fun, but it's also about what is next. It's about how do I create um, what it is that I want to create for my future and make sure that it benefits other people. That's what you're focused on this month. You are really focused on creating a team, a tribe or um, a gathering of like minds and people and it really kind of suggests that it's going to be really successful especially with this falling in your actions and your interactions because this is about you finding people to really you know to work with that there is genuine connection with I really love this for you uh, your actions also are blessed this month the star card is always a blessing uh, in some way shape or form so love 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 that and then your money and materials this month. So what are your money and your materials got to say? This month you get the Four of Pentacles. This is brilliant. So the Four of Pentacles talks about saving money, investing money, but it's also about gathering funds, right? And it feels to me like you are gathering, it's almost like you're a lightning rod for finance this month. You're a lightning rod for money. And that's the flow that you need to stay in, right? You've already got the right people coming in. Now you need the resources, right? So Taurus, whatever the state of your uh, financial affairs, this is a good month for you. It's a good month for you to build. This is not a month for you to be frivolous. This is a month to save. This is a month to allow the money to come in and squirrel it away. I mean, you guys are fucking phenomenal at that anyway. Um, and even those Taurians out there that are like, well, I'm not. Uh, this is the month where you can change that vibration, but it's got to be a ch conscious choice. Uh, and with your actions here, if you make a, a, a point, a focal conscious point of saying to yourself, right, I may not have had this mastered yet, but this month I'm going to make a difference with it. Even if it's just you put away 50 pounds, dollars, you know, whatever your currency, wherever you are in the world and watching this, even if you put that away and say to yourself, right, I have squirreled that away and that will stay away until the time is right for me to reap the rewards from it. So this is about making a conscious, focused effort this month to change and switch up your vibration when it comes to money, because the, con uh, the, the ripples of that decision, making it on a conscious level will ripple out and they will create some sort of um, stream or string towards financial abundance. The Four of Pentacles is basically saying to you this month, don't be frivolous with your money. This is a month for you to take, you know, to draw it in and allow it to sit. Uh, and utilize that power, utilize that strength. In terms of physical health, um, for a lot of you, I just wanna say keep an eye on your nerves this month. Um, you know, and when I say 
I don't think any of you are going to get ill or anything, but it's almost like you, you've got a lot going on in the mind sector and because you're kind of running around like a blue ass fly trying to make all of this stuff happen um, and, you know, and building this team and building this tribe, it almost feels to me like if you do feel this anywhere in your physical self, it will be your nervous system. So when you have that going on, um, you know, take time, take rest, get some good food, uh, get some electrolytes. Coconut water is really good for that sort of thing. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm not a medical professional. I can't give you that kind of advice, of course, but um, I can tell you the energy that's coming up and the cards and what they kind of pertain to when it comes to your physical self. So uh, have a, let's have a look at your communications with the world at large, what you say in and how you're being received when you say it. And this month, you get, you got the world card. Taurus, you are leveling up. You are demonstrating that you are a master of something. Uh, you know, this is always a card that changes your status in some kind of way. It's always a card that takes you on to the next level. And the fact that this falls in your communication sector for one specific person, uh, nailing your public speaking, brilliant. Uh, for all of you in some way, shape or form. This is about people hearing you in the best way that paints you in the best light. It's not a you can't fail card, but it is saying that you will crack this, whether you're going for a job interview, whether you are putting on a presentation, whether you're giving a speech. This basically, this card basically says that your communication style and reception is about to elevate. It's about to go through some kind of mastership so that when you get to the end of February, you're gonna be like, damn, I've cracked that. I know how to do that. I know how to do it well. And with the four of pentacles right next to it, it suggests that once you crack this, it will be something that lasts. It will be something that really stays with you for a long time to come. Uh, with that world card there as well, think about what it is that you want to say. What is your message? What is your unique message that you have to deliver to the world? Whether it's that you're a teacher and you, you wanna give that information in that way, whether it is that you're a mentor, a coach, uh, a public speaker, um, you know, whatever it is that you do, whatever, you know, even if you're in sales, especially if you're in sales, actually, this really suggests that your communication style and the way people take you on, especially this month, is going to have really far reaching ripples that speak so, so highly of and for you. Master that experience, claim it. And then finally, your heart and your hearth. So this is all about your personal emotional relationships. It could be family, friends or otherwise. And this month you get, you've got the Three of Cups, beautiful, I love this. Because uh, the Three of Cups suggests, especially right next to the World card, it suggests that um, your social circle is going through an evolution, which we can see because you're building a new, a new tribe, right? But it also suggests that some of the people from your past are coming with you. This is about gatherings, it's about bringing people together and I really feel like you're at the center of it, like a mini sun. And you're just like, yeah, you know, having the time of your life. And everyone around you is enjoying that experience because you're enjoying it so much. Your thoughts and your actions are really powerful this month, Taurus. So the second you're in a bad mood, everyone else around you is gonna reflect that right back at you, especially with the world card there because it's, ooh, yeah. <laughs> especially with the world card there because it's basically saying to you that you're manifesting really fast this month. You are really bringing things to light in a big way. And the second you put it out, it's gonna reverb straight back at you. So be very conscious of the energy that you're putting out. The Three of Cups is a beautiful card because it's reunions but it's get-togethers and fun and exuberance and it also suggests that this month you're meeting people that you don't know yet. The World card can also represent the wider world stage, right? So it suggests to me that um, you will be blending the new and the old this month in your um, interactions, in your personal relationships. Uh, family stuff is gonna be absolutely beautiful. Uh, you know, friendship and all the rest of it. Like I said, you're not only building this new tribe, but I feel like you're taking some of your people with you. And that is absolutely phenomenal. So let's have a look at the months of the week. The first week of February, you get the Emperor card. So yeah, you know, the Emperor card basically says that the first week of Feb, especially as it falls underneath the star card, remember you are the focal point, yeah? And that's not to say that you're the, the um, 
you're not the boss of everybody. It's not to say that, but just remember this tribe that you're building around yourself, you are the focal point. And as long as you hold on to that, you won't lose yourself or your personal voice in the crowd. I feel like that's really important to mention. Uh, second week of February, uh, you've got the Horned One. So this is the Devil card, basically, and it comes right underneath the Four of Pentacles. Uh, whatever you choose to hold on to, um, don't let it become an obsession because uh, this falls underneath the four of pentacles right and I talked about this in terms of squirreling things away don't you know put money away and then check on it every five seconds it's not going to go anywhere put it away with the conscious thought of I'm squirreling this away for when the time is right and just leave it there let that um, experience wash over you of having more than you need but making a point not to spend that more than you need uh, the devil card is trying to teach you to have some sort of conscious detachment when it comes to material wealth this month all right uh, and that will be the second week of Feb so the third week of Feb third week of February you've got the hanged man this card represents Pisces and it falls right underneath the world card so this is really interesting for me and I gotta say this it feels like there's gonna be an event that happens probably in your vicinity but not necessarily in your family but certainly close enough to you for you to know about it and hear a lot about it your first instinct is gonna to is gonna be to rush in yeah and you know do this whole savior bit be a bit of a martyr that's one of the not so positive traits of the hanged man and with the world card there like i said it's close to you but it doesn't necessarily pertain to you this is not the month for you especially while you're newly acquiring this skill of you know having things set away your first response is going to be well i've got that put away so i'm i can help your, that will be your first response. And this month, I'm telling you, Taurus, keep your hand in your pocket and keep your purse shut. And the reason I'm saying this is because you might take away uh, the, um, the experience that somebody else needs in order for them to change or to evolve something. This is the month where you're gonna have to stand back and let somebody else deal with their own issues and possibly their own demons because you've got the hanged man right next to the devil card. That kind of, for me, feels like somebody's going to have an issue and it's not yours to deal with. You need to let them master this on their own because otherwise they never will. Fourth week of uh, February, you have the Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Right underneath that Three of Cups there. This suggests, you know, people that you haven't rubbed shoulders with. It suggests that there are new people coming in and these are people that are really going to bless you in some way, shape or form. Whether it's the conversations that you have with them, whether it is uh, that they give you an idea or they lead you to an idea or you share an idea with, you, uh, with them and they say, well, actually, yeah, I know somebody that can help you make that, that. Uh, phenomenal right that's what you want the, the fourth week of Feb is a very lucky week for you Taurus so use it wisely so your key to the month and as you can see uh, your key to the month has another one next to it and I will talk about that in just a moment so your key to the month is the page of cups this really is about listening to your emotions and getting creative in the spirit of fun enjoyment if it's not fun if it's not enjoyable if it is not giving you a good experience that gives you a glow here then it's something that needs to be let go of so your key to the month is to enjoy yourself and allow yourself to be surrounded by the best and brightest and the highest for your life and then finally, uh, the heart shape, it is February, so we've got Valentine's Day coming up. This is like a little bonus card for all of you. Uh, it's for whether you are single, whether you are taken, and uh, we will have a look at that now. So you've got the Knight of Swords. So if you are single, it looks like some kind of hot and heavy, um, you know, very fast sort of like, yeah, you know, there's going to be like a real attraction. Uh, you will possibly be uh, the type of attraction that, you know, where you get on each other's nerves, but that's all just part of the spark that really gets you excited about each other. For those... Um, I gotta be honest with you though if you are single and you find yourself having that kind of a tryst it's probably not meant to last it doesn't feel like something that has weight to it so keep that in mind for those of you that are partnered 
it really suggests that this month you're going to shake things up not just for valentine's day but just in general um keep an eye on how you talk to each other how you communicate is going to be really important uh, you yourself are mastering communication this month remember that taurus um but yeah it kind of feels like for those of you that are partnered taurians um there's a, you know it's a great experience to be had you know lots of fun you're going to be looking for ways to inject more fun into what you do uh, but you must keep an eye on how you talk to each other there's a line between banter and you know being mean i guess uh, so with that said that is your valentine's day uh, you know bonus message i wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff have an amazing month take care and i'll see you very soon for more videos